Okay, I'm at 518 Summit Drive. Um, this is a neighborhood that's very close to the uh, other property that you purchased. And, uh, and it's a nice neighborhood. You've got a, a nice number of homes around here. Um, my main issues are the, the roof needs to be done. And there's wood rot on the exterior. So up here, there's not any missing shingles that you can see right here, but on the back there are. To the left, you've got some wood rot right here all along this edge. You've got wood siding, so you've got some wood rot all around the edges that will need to be addressed. Um, inside, you've got primarily paint and carpet um, going on. So I like the big open floor plan here, high ceilings. You got a nice ceiling fan. The carpet here is not real bad, but it smells. There's, I think they had some pets perhaps. Um, when you come in here to the left, you'll see the kitchen. You've got a breakfast nook area and um, white cabinetry that's not in bad shape or anything like that. Um, they basically painted this. These are the wood cabinets that are typically oak and they just painted it um, white. So, uh, garage, I'll show you that quickly in here. There's no power, so kind of dark um, and hard to see. Yeah, but my camera does a really nice job of picking up on here because this, this is hard to see anything in here. The air conditioning unit, um, the outside unit's been replaced. This one evidently has not. This is a carrier right here and this looks very old. So they replaced the outside unit but not the inside unit. This is where the laundry is. Tile flooring looks good. Here in the kitchen area. I believe this is a pantry. Yeah, you got a pantry right there. And again, just real nice open floor plan. Um, they've got a textured wall, so over there and here you can see, maybe in the, sh yeah, there you can get a little view. So they did kind of a textured wall here. Um, not exactly sure why. That's, um, uh, you know, not a huge deal really, but just kind of odd. You got this lime green color um, in the master bedroom, and then look at the baseboards. They just, it must have been yellow at some point, and then they painted it green, but they never finished the touch up. So, um, in the master bathroom, again, pretty pitch black. This is your walk in closet, which is good sized. Um, you have a separate tub right here, garden tub. And then you have a shower back here. Um, yeah, I can't see a thing. So you have the shower right there, and then here on the right is your toilet. Um, there's a pocket door which looks to have been kind of damaged. This flooring is a peel and stick vinyl tile. So it's not exactly the best tile really to have in a wet area because it's it's literally just like a sticker. So you peel it and stick it down here, but if it gets wet, it will um, it'll pop off and come loose. All right, so the other side, we've got, I like the floor plan, honestly. It's a, a very desirable one. You've got four bedrooms. So back here, you've got kind of this separate room, nice size, nothing, you know, crazy. Uh, just the colors are. <laughs> Carpet, you've got some rust stains here, so. Again, I think you'll be replacing carpet, uh, repainting the whole thing. There's a shot at your formal dining area and another shot of your kitchen. Coming over here, you've got the two bedrooms and one bathroom in between it. So kind of a green. This is it's not a horrible color, but it's not your typical neutral either. Carpet looks okay in this particular bedroom. Coming over here is your Hall bathroom, got a decent looking light, real tile floors, which is good, and a nice, you know, one piece shower tub combination, which looks good, no, no repair issues there. And then you've got your last bedroom right over here. Here again, just typical size bedroom. So nice to have that fourth bedroom with this um, square footage. Then let me give you a quick shot out back. There's some wood rot. This back door is 
is damaged. So you've got rotten wood core in the door and here too the door. Um, you can see the AC that's been replaced that's good. The wood siding back here is you know it's got wood rot issues in places um, so you'll probably have a fair number of spots that would need to be fixed. I'd love for you to find a home that does not need wood rot, um, that does not have wood siding I should say. Up there you can see a couple of the shingles that are gone. Like I said this one is just it's on its last leg. All the um, roofs nearby like next door has been replaced. Same thing on the other side. So this is a little patio and then the grass is pretty overgrown. It's a good size yard actually and it does have some nice trees and uh, and it's fenced so that part's good but you'd be looking at a new roof, paint, carpet, and wood siding that would need to be addressed uh, for this one on Summit.